Hello students, welcome to IMK classes. In today's class, I am going to teach you what is reproduction. So what basically is reproduction? As we all know, the definition of reproduction states that it is the process by which a living organism produces young ones. Now what do we mean when by repro reproduction of young ones? The production of young ones means when a parent gives birth to their next generation. Okay? Now, what is the importance of reproduction? Why do we need reproduction? What will happen if organisms won't reproduce or stop to reproduce? Now, if organisms stop to reproduce, the rate of survival will decrease and there will, uh, and there will be decrease in population size. So, in order to keep continuity of species, in order to stop a species from getting extinction, we need to reproduce and in order to increase our population size, an organism needs to, in, in, uh, to reproduce. Next, do organisms create carbon copies of themselves? Yes, organisms at times create carbon copies of themselves, but there is the change in genetic material. We all know that during reproduction, our genetic material, that is the DNA, is transmitted from the parent organism to their offsprings. Now, these genetic material can look identical or the organisms may look more physically identical but genetically there is a variation in our genetic material or DNA. Now, what is the importance of this variation? The importance of this variation is that variation helps us to stay steady in our environment. Now, what do I mean by this? Now, we all know that Darwin said that survival of the fittest natural selection. The one who nature's favors will survive. Now how can we explain it now? The ones when variation occurs when variation occurs and organism gains the ability to fight against the harsh environmental conditions and survive itself by keeping on evolving with the due course of evolution. Now how many types of reproduction are there? There are two types of reproduction. One is sexual reproduction, second one is sexual reproduction. So what is the difference between these two processes? Now a sexual reproduction basically involves single parent. It is uniparental whereas sexual reproduction is biparental. Now gametes. Gametes refers to the <coughs> gametes refers to those parts which help us reproduce. Now, in case of sexual reproduction, there are two types of gametes. One is the male gamete, one is the female gamete. Because in sexual reproduction, we see sexual dimorphism. That is, males and females both are different. Now, the male gamete helps, uh, that is the sperm, and the female gamete is the ovum. It helps in sexual reproduction when two parents are involved. But during a sexual reproduction, no gametes are involved. There is no gametes involved because it is a uniparental process. The time taken, now the time taken for sexual reproduction is obviously faster because it involves only one parent. But during sexual reproduction, it is a so, slower process because one has to wait for the partner's sexual maturity. Now, what is variation? We came to know that variation means the differences that we see or the variety we see in the organisms during the evolutionary process that helps the organism to survive in a condition. So, in a sexual reproduction, we don't see variation because it is uniparental. So, they basically carry on the parental characteristics <coughs> and don't uh, really evolve. But in sexual reproduction, variation is easily seen. Now, there are various types of sexual reproduction, budding, fission, regeneration, fragmentation, spore formation, vegetative propagation. So, uh, moving on to fission. Fission is of two types, that is binary fission and multiple fission. Binary, the name itself suggests that an organism divides to form only two different, or two different daughter cells. When a single mother cell divides to form two daughter cells, it is known as binary fission. In multiple fission, a parent cell divides and forms multiple number of daughter copies. Similarly, in budding, first a bud regenerates in the parent body, the bud gradually develops, then the bud detaches from the parent body and serves as a new individual. 
And in fragmentation, the parent body is divided into certain fragments and each fragment has the potency or the capacity to develop into a new individual. To learn more about spore formation, vegetative propagation and sexual reproduction, do like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. That's all for today.